Noah Baim says in his small town, almost everyone knew his former baseball coach, 48-year-old Larry Hennier. He and 25-year-old Corey Talkin were killed in a boating accident Saturday, a tragedy that has affected everyone. It's kind of sad for a young guy like Larry and Corey and uh, them to go, but I guess it's just when God wants them to go, he wants them to go. So. You just kind of work through it and stuff. Beam says the Gasconade River is a dangerous place for anyone out on a boat. Some of the narrow passages, like where they got killed, we call it the S-curve. And it's just real narrow. You can't see around it. And it's a bad spot. But, I mean, there's not really many narrow passages, but a lot of people, there's a lot of straight stretches in. They like to go fast down them. Some think safety could be improved if the state would let them cut down some trees to improve visibility or dredge the shallow riverbed. Boater Kevin Lang says after what happened Saturday, he'll never go back. To be quite honest, I, I would rather be, I'd rather walk across I-70 at night blindfolded. There's no river courtesy from other boaters. There's not enough law enforcement. Uh, there's way too much horsepower. I would say probably alcohol and large horsepower is the is the two problems on that river. Without physically changing the river, however, Missouri State Highway Patrol says safety is largely up to people and that another tragedy can be avoided. Uh, just, just like you do when you get in a vehicle, you have to obey all the rules and be as careful as you possibly can. That's going to help us promote safety on the waterways. Chris Shepard, KRCG 13, Freeburg.